Are you thinking of moving to Houston? Well, let me share with you a few things that I've learned since living here. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Danielle and I am a proud Bridgeland resident and your local realtor with Wazell Properties here in Texas. On this channel, I have a lot of fun talking about everything Bridgeland, Cyprus, and real estate every week. Before we jump in, I just wanted to give a little background on me. I moved here in the beginning of 2020. Prior to that, I had visited various parts of Texas since I have quite a bit of relatives and friends spread throughout all of Texas. Eventually, my husband and I decided to move to Houston to be closer to family after having our youngest daughter. We decided to live in Bridgeland, which is a community just outside of Houston, and since then, I have fallen completely in love with Bridgeland and for all of Texas for that matter. So I'm very excited to share with you the things that I love and the things I don't like so much. So we are going to start with the things that I love. So let's start with the weather. I may not get the popular vote on this one, but in my opinion, overall, I think the weather in Houston is pretty nice. Yes, it can be very hot and humid and sticky in those summer months, but coming from a hot and dry climate like Las Vegas, it doesn't really bother me that much. And it's made up for in the fact that we can spend a majority of the years outdoors pretty comfortably. So number two on my list is the natural landscapes and recreation. Honestly, when I thought of moving to Texas, I imagined flat, desolate land with cows and nothing in sight for miles and miles. And what I have actually found is that Houston and Texas as itself has an abundance of green space, parks, garden exhibits, forests, rivers, lakes, walking trails, and over 11 state parks that are really close by to Houston. The recreational things to do outdoors in Houston and in Texas in general is endless. Number three is activities and food. Because Houston is huge and so diverse, there are endless things to do. You can do just about any activity year round within Houston. Personally, I am a fan of all the variety of restaurants and breweries here in Houston. This city is quickly becoming known as one of the top foodie destinations within the country because of its diversity in the food scene. So unless your favorite pastime is something like ice fishing, I don't know. Um, Houston will have anything you can think of. Houston is great for mountain bikers, cyclers, fishers, hunters, painters, tennis players, golfers, shoppers. Again, anything you can think of, Houston probably has it for you. Number four on my list is the people. This one is no doubt probably my cheesiest, but honestly, I couldn't make a list about what I love about Texas without mentioning all the people we've met since living here. Now, remember, I live in Bridgeland, which is a small-like suburb to Houston. It's actually a master plan community with planned community events, so no doubt it might have a different feeling than, say, other parts of Houston. But honestly, all in all, we've met some pretty incredible, nice people since being in Houston. We know all of our neighbors and we belong to many community and interest groups within our neighborhood. Number five on my list is no state income tax and affordable housing. Yes, there is no state income tax here. And in my opinion, the housing is pretty affordable compared to some other parts of the country. Houston's housing cost is about 11% lower on the national average. It really was one of the deciding factors for us to move to Texas. Okay, so now let's talk about the things I hate. I am hesitant because that's a pretty strong word and it seems a little over the top when we live in such a beautiful area and city. But here we go. Number one, the weather. Yes, I know I said that that is one of the things that I loved, but it is also one of the things that I hate. Although, for the most part, Houston has pretty predictable, hot, humid weather, the city is also prone to a lot of natural disasters, especially flooding. Number two on my list is the distance and traffic. Houston is so vast and large, it can be overwhelming and time-consuming to get places. Houston is about 10,000 square miles, and like all metro cities, Houston is subject to traffic. 
The good news is it's not significantly worse than any other major city. I read somewhere that the average commute time in Houston is 27 minutes, which also happens to be the national average commute time. So if you are moving from another metropolitan city, it will probably be about the same in terms of commute time. It might be because I live and work in Cyprus and everything we need on a day-to-day -day basis is close by, but when I do find myself needing to go into Houston during rush hour, it's never fun and I'll pretty much do anything to avoid it. So if you're moving to Houston, be warned, we have big city traffic. Number three on my list is the bugs and the snakes. This is probably one of the things I hate most about Houston and Texas, and that is the bugs and snakes. A lot of creatures call Texas and Houston home, and it has definitely been something I've had to get used to. The mosquitoes are terrible during some seasons. There are snakes and water snakes and cockroaches and a lot of spiders and ants, and you have to watch your dogs for fleas and ticks. The list goes on. So I am here to warn you, you will encounter bugs and snakes and other critters while living in Texas. And the last thing on my list is the landscapes. Yes, I know this was on my list of loves, but it is also on my list of hates. Uh, coming from a place with lots of national parks and mountains really close by, I really do miss from time to time being able to take a day trip to do those sorts of things. While yes, there is hiking here, um, compared to where I came from, I would consider the hiking here more like nature walking trails. So there you have it. Truth be told, the things I love far outweigh the things I hate. Houston is so diverse and has something for everyone. I would love to hear what is drawing you personally to Houston and want to hear what areas you're considering down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Lastly, if you would like to hear a little bit more about the area that I am so proud to call home, then click to watch the video below as I give an overview about Bridgeland and what it's like living here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.